Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dino Lolly. Today we're coming to you from a place called The Collective in Oklahoma City. This is Oklahoma City's first food hall. Folks in Oklahoma City have been buzzing about this since it opened around the 1st of August. Inside, you'll find 11 restaurants serving everything from barbecue to donuts to healthy and vegetarian meals. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, I really don't think there's more relaxing time you can spend than a day on the lake. That's right, and if you haven't hit up the Oklahoma Fishing Trail, this coming fall is the perfect time. Jason Grubbs is actually going to show us how it's done at a spot on the fishing trail at Grand Lake. If you take a look at Tony Coatney's Facebook page, you'll see lots of fish and smiling faces. That's one of my favorite things, is taking a kid out, getting their first fish. Because the smile you see on that face, it's, it's unbelievable. Tony is a fishing pro with the Shangri-La Resort Guide Service, and Grand Lake is his home. All right, Tony, how long have you been fishing out here on this water? All my life. We're ready. <laughs> For the past 25 years, he's guided guests to his favorite fishing holes. We're going to go down past Horse Creek. How big is Grand Lake? 1,350 miles of shoreline, probably about 68 miles long. Out here, you'll catch crappie, catfish, and largemouth bass. There's no secrets. You just got to know when to fish them and what to use. Tony likes to catch and release the bass. It's just a personal thing. Um, we're wanting the largemouth to grow up and get big. Um, what brings a lot of people to Grand Lake is our fishing tournaments. And the last thing tournament anglers want to know that the guides aren't cleaning all the fish. Whatever else you catch? We'll clean their uh, fish up for them, bag them up, and let them take them home. Tony has four and eight hour trips. Prices start at 275 and go up. I average probably 300 trips a year here from March to October. He can take up to three people on his fully rigged boat, complete with plenty of poles and his trusty fish finding gadgets. I can't go without them. Tony says fishing is a quiet sport. You don't want to be chatting out here, making a bunch of noise walking around on the boats because those fish can hear you. Oh, oh, no, lost alarm. <laughs> yep, I'm just working it down. There's bunch of concrete laying down through there. They like to hide down there. They, they like that fresh water coming in. It's an ambush spot for them. Oh, uh, okay. See what they're doing is the fish are laying right down in there. That fresh water and all the minnows are coming out of there with them. There's a fish right there. Oh. Hang on. I thought I had him on there. Fish on. <laughs> All right. That was a good little fish. Tony's much better at this than I am. Of course, he is the pro. But if you don't know anything about the sport, not to worry. He's Never excited did. to teach you. On Grand Lake, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. If you're ready to hit the trail, we've made it easy for you. Go online to fishinok.com for a look at the different loops. And if you want a printed guide, click where it says request free brochures at the top of the website. After a day on the lake reeling them in, you'll want a nice place to rest your head. And for those visiting Broken Bow Lake, the options are endless when it comes to cabins. Let's visit one exceptional location. It's called Pine Knot Cabins. Scott and Jennifer Gamble were working corporate jobs living in Frisco, Texas. So we had friends who told us about it and said it was only about three hours from where we lived. And so we came here and we stayed a week and fell in love with the area and we wanted to buy a cabin so we can have a rental as well. Long story short, the Gambles fell in love with this area, moved here and created Pine Knot Cabins. They now have six beautiful cabins in and around Beaver's Bend. One three bedroom, one two bedroom and four one bedroom. Each cabin has a name. Lucky Log, Old Blue, Birds of a Feather, Cozy Cottage, and Lazy Days. Okie Hideaway is where we interviewed Jennifer. It's a two bedroom, two bath. Um, it's located in Kanatabee Trails. It sits on 1.5 acres, and then it backs up to 500 acres of pine forest. There's plenty of room here to run and play. We have horseshoes, fire pit, hot tub. Um, there's a circle driveway, which has uh, plenty of room for your boat and trailer too. 
Um, inside, it's fully furnished and stocked. Um, our kitchens have everything that you need to cook, to prepare and cook your meal. Um, we provide spices, coffee, creamer, and sugar, and really all you need to do is bring your food and drinks. All the Pine Knot cabins are wonderfully decorated and extremely comfortable, but what struck me about Oki Hideaway was the backyard area and how spacious and tranquil it is. It's, it's very peaceful back here, and people just love just hanging out here. There's a lot of room um, to hang out at Oki Hideaway. You know, you got inside, but this the backyard adds a lot to it. Uh, we have a lot of repeat cu customers that come to Oki Hideaway just because they just love it so much. Sometimes we've got guests that come back three or four times a year um, to stay here. Guests returning to Pine Knot Cabins, well, it happens quite often. We are very happy um, that we have you know, a lot of guests that come back to us. Um, some cabins, you know, within a year's time, um, we had our Lazy Days cabin who had um, a customer come back five times um, in six months. The three-bedroom cabin is called Cozy Cottage. It's two stories and has two bedrooms on the first floor and another bedroom on the second floor. And this cabin is the one that allows pets. Now, all the cabins have hot tubs, gas grills, while some have charcoal grills, and they all have fire pits. All of our cabins are tucked back behind the main highway, uh, but yet they're still centrally located to all of the convenience and all the area attractions that we have here in Hutchtown. They're only a couple of minutes away from the breweries, the wineries, and we're extremely close to Beaver's Bend State Park in Broken Bow Lake. One of the many elements I liked about Pine Knot Cabins is they are all different. All of our cabins are unique in their own way. They all have their special charm. Um, each one has something a little bit different about them, and they're not all decorated the same. Um, they're all different. And finally, Jennifer and Scott work very hard to make sure your stay here is perfect and you can unwind. And lastly, you will want to come back. People who come on weekends just want to kind of come here and just get away from the stress of the city life and just relax. They might not go out at all. They might just sit in the cabins or they'll go out and just enjoy all the attractions that we have to offer here. You can browse through all the cabin options at Pine Knot on their website, pineknotcabins.com. But don't forget, there are hundreds of cabins in the Broken Bow area. We also suggest checking out the state park accommodations or checking visitmccurtaincounty.com to review all the options. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It says Oki on it, and then it's in the shape of a radar. Everybody loves the Oki radar shirt. Your one-stop shop for everything Oki. I mean, there's been times when I've gotten one left. And then I'm like, I gotta come back and go, you, you want another? Plus, burgers so good, you'll go back for seconds. And doing things that, uh, that other facilities haven't done before. I mean, a free kayak operation, that's basically unheard of. And there are blazing trails in Tulsa at the Gathering Place. We'll show you how when Discover Oklahoma continues. Explore new horizons in your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Get the excitement rolling. Reawaken your sense of adventure. Discover totally unexpected thrills. Order your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide today at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from The Collective, the very first food hall in Oklahoma City. After you fill up here, you can head west for a little shopping. Tiffany Patro takes us to the Burlap Buffalo in Mustang. The Burlap Buffalo in Mustang is literally one-stop shopping. They have women's clothes, they have beauty essentials, and they have the cutest selection of kids' clothes. The Burlap Buffalo is a big store with a small town feel that has something for everybody. We carry a little bit of everything from women's clothing, baby's clothing, home decor, um, gifts, purses, jewelry, just a little bit of everything. The Mustang Boutique is stocked with unique items you won't find anywhere else. You're going to come in, you're not going to see things that you see in the big department stores. We try to choose things that are not seen every day. We try to find different items that are unique and um, just fun, fun things. They have the latest in today's fashion, but also feature all things Oklahoma. We have people that come in all the time and want local flair. So we carry um, Oklahoma t-shirts, Oklahoma jewelry, um, but our t-shirts, we do a lot of Oklahoma because people come from all over and want something Oklahoma. It's those t-shirts that constantly fly off the shelves, like the top-selling Oki Radar shirt. 
It says Oki on it, and then it's in the shape of a radar. So um, everybody loves the Oki radar shirt. But the fashion isn't just for adults. The Burlap Buffalo has a huge selection of kids and baby items, from top-selling lines like copper pearl swaddles and bibs, the latest from Kiki Pants, and a large selection from Posh Peanut. It's the Mommy and Me matching robes, and then there's all the different accessories and the outfits for the, um, the kids, so the whole family can match whenever Mommy's having the baby or even for pictures, too. The Burlap Buffalo doesn't stop at clothes. They have jewelry, candles, soaps, and home decor. Mud Pie is one of our biggest sellers. They offer not just home decor, but they have like the serving dishes, and they all have funny sayings and cute sayings on them, and they're great gifts. But what really sets the boutique apart is the people who work there. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. They are so much fun. They will joke with you when you come in. It's kind of like um, visiting family at some times, um, just to be able to, to come in and talk to them. And they know you when you come in, so they know what kind of your style is. They can show you things that they know that you're gonna like. And low prices to work with any budget. Especially for those college girls um, or girls in high school, you can find something that, you know, it can fit your price point here. With an incredible selection that keeps folks coming back. There's always something new, so that's why you have to stop in often. The Burlap Buffalo truly has everything you need, and maybe even a few things you didn't know you needed. My husband said, if he ever hears me say that I'm going to take a, a, just stop by and see what's in there, he knows I'm going to come home with a bag or something. <laughs> In Mustang, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. The Burlap Buffalo is located at 224 West State Highway 152 in Mustang. They're open six days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, and 10 to 6 on Saturdays. They are closed on Sunday. Okay, so there's no doubt you can find something to suit you here at this food hall. And if you're really looking for that classic Oklahoma onion burger, you have got to seek out one heck of a food truck. Right now, Jeff Roberts is going to take us to Marco's Onion Burgers. To borrow a line from Michael Corleone, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. To track down the mob, we all know the names Capone, Dillinger, Babyface Nelson, Marco Morrow. Oh, Marco Morrow? He's the head mob boss, rather the CEO of Mob Grill. So Marco, what sets mob apart from those other burger places? I came up with a secret marinade for our onion burger. I actually come up, we marinate all the onions as well as our fresh cut jalapenos in case you want to spice it up a little bit. But uh, it sets it off, it makes it a sweet tangy onion and you don't smell like an onion after you've eaten it. You just go, wow, that was pretty darn good. Aaron Cooper has a mob issue about how pretty darn good they are. I mean, there's been times when I've gotten one, left, and then I'm like, I gotta come back and go, you, you want another? Can I get one more and just don't, you know? It's just, they're that good. Oh um, my God. They're just unique. Unique nails it. That's why Mob Grill is So Six Magazine's Oki Honor winner for number one hamburger, number one food truck, the Daily Oklahoman Reader's Choice 2017 winner for best fries, and top five food truck finalists the last four years. But somebody's gotta make the magic happen in the kitchen. That's where Chef Anthony Reed comes in. Magic, right? Speaking of magic, what's Kara Rice, co-host of My Magic Morning Show, think of these burgers? You've been making me wait, Jeff. Let's see what it's like, go for it. All of the state of Oklahoma is watching you eat right now. Your mom is so proud of you. It's so juicy. Like you look at it and he really cooked it on that grill, but it's so juicy. And the onions do have the best flavor. That's okay. the best onion burger I've had. So you've taken that. Now, what about the french fries? Now, you've seen me trying these. These are the best. Oh my God. The double fry process, they're so crunchy. They're so crispy. I kind of feel like you're on the fence about what Mob Grill is all about. Is it the bomb? I'm going to start moonlighting here after the show every day. <laughs> <laughs> Marco's partner in crime, Seth Frenchy Fry Barker, <laughs> reminded me about the sweet surprise. Sweet Guma. Just look at that. Now, don't lick your TV, but even Tommy the camera guru thinks it looks good. Right, Tommy? Looks, there you go. It looks good. 
All right, so here is the Twitter and the Facebook address. You gotta find Mob Grill. Let me tell you, you will not be unhappy because this amazing good food. And I see somebody kind of moving this way. What's up, buddy? We made him an offer he couldn't refuse, eh? Really? <laughs> tell him you heard all about Mob Grill right here on Discover Oklahoma. Marco's Onion Burgers has a calendar on its webpage that lists all the locations the food truck will be visiting. Head to their website, mobgrill.com, and look for the locations calendar, or follow them on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's pure nature here going on. We have, you know, turtles, we have um, fish in the, in the pond, and occasionally we do see a snake here and there. So it is a regular Oklahoma waterway. In the heart of Tulsa, a place that makes you feel like you're miles away, we do a little boating at the gathering place coming up. I'm very glad to see them really building up and promoting Route 66. I think it's great. And the food hall that has everyone stopping along the Mother Road, it's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. There's some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. This Valentine's Day, surprise your special someone with an irresistible one-year subscription. Now only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're checking out the very first food hall in Oklahoma City called The Collective. One of the concepts behind this place is that it would be a community gathering place. And of course in Tulsa we all know they have the gathering place. That's right and while you're there did you know that you can do some boating for free? Julie Chin shows us how. USA Today named Gathering Place the best new attraction in the U.S. and recently the Tulsa Park added a new activity, water sports on Peggy's Pond. Catching a wave has never been easier at Gathering Place. We're trailblazing and doing things that, uh, that other facilities haven't done before. I mean, a free kayak operation, that's basically unheard of. That's right. You can now kayak, canoe, or paddle boat on Peggy's Pond in the heart of Tulsa's Gathering Place for free. So to see people um, try, you know, something new that's, you know, they probably wanted to do for a while, but just haven't had the opportunity to go take a kayak out and. It's really cool to see that. Uh, there's a lot of people who are doing it for the first time. That's, that's really neat. Like Jane Pope, who just kayaked with her mom. We got to take a lot of pictures, and it was really fun. Gathering Place provides everything from lessons to life vests, and you have options when choosing your watercraft. There are two-person kayaks and paddle boats, and art canoes adorned by local artists with room for three. You'll find the boat attraction right underneath the boathouse. At first we waited in this line and they gave us like the preliminary rules and then we went inside and got our, fitted for our life jackets and then got out on the boat and went. It was really easy. Gathering Place team members are on the slip and in the water working to keep boaters safe. Tulsa One patrols the pond and took us for a ride. Here we go! From the slip we travel through the narrows and under a bridge. That opens up to a larger pond where you pass the landing, lodge, and Willow Beach. This is a very easy place to start and learn how to do everything. I mean, you know, there's hardly anyone out there and, you know, it's very calm water. You can boat for up to 30 minutes. The experience is part workout, part wildlife adventure. It's pure nature here going on. We have, you know, turtles, we have uh, fish in the, in the pond and occasionally we do see a snake here and there. So it is a regular Oklahoma waterway. I saw a herring, um, like a, the bird, a blue herring, and it flew uh, over us and it was really cool. The experience also offers a cool new point of view. The park is beautiful so the whole thing is just a little bit nicer when you're on the water because it just adds a different perspective. So even if you've seen the lodge, for instance, a million times, when you see it from the, from the water, it's gonna give, look a little different. And it, definitely when you come back here and you see the boathouse, 
in full operation on the water, it, it looks very unique and different. I didn't know how close everything was, like in proximity to each other, but the water like actually makes it seem closer. It's nice. Tulsa's gathering place. It's clear the world-class riverfront park continues to make a splash. Number one, it's fun. Number two, it's, it's easy. Number three, it's free. The joy of people connecting with the water, connecting with nature, and adding that element to the gathering place, it's, it's, everyone's really happy, and we're happy to, to be here for them as well. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Weather permitting, the boats are available for free rental from 1 to 7 p.m. every day. It's a first-come, first-served basis. Life jackets must be worn at all times. Find out more at gatheringplace.org. Just search for Peggy's Pond Boats. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. Nothing is outside of Oklahoma. That's why our tagline is, tastes like Oklahoma. You can't get any more oaky than this. See what's under the roof at the Mother Road Market when Discover Oklahoma continues. Gather around and go for a ride through Oklahoma's all-new travel guide. See art, culture, big city venues, blazing neon, flavorful menus. Find a cabin where you can unwind. Grab your travel guide and see what you find. We've had a great time here today at The Collective, the first food hall in Oklahoma City. Now, if you're in Tulsa, they have a food hall you need to head up there. Right now, Jason Grubbs is going to show us around the Mother Road Market. Mother Road Market is Route 66's latest addition. It takes up most of the southwest corner of 11th and South Lewis. And you need a big place like this to house big ideas. The Lobeck Taylor Family Foundation's mission really is to decrease barriers to encourage Tulsans to dream big. The market was built by the nonprofit foundation so entrepreneurs could focus on their craft and honing their business skills first. We wanted to take the many barriers that are in the way for a startup out of the way so that they could just focus on menu execution, hiring and staffing and all the other elements that are really their specialty. Me and my girlfriend took a trip up here to check this out, never been here before. When we caught up with Jan McGuire and her friends, they had just pulled in from Depew. Well, it's really neat. I haven't seen a lot of it, but it's really, really neat. You have to go all the way around and look at all the different places. And I even looked online and looked at, you know, some of the menus and things before I came in. Cindy Ritter says there's a lot of choices for food. She went with a place called Radish. It focuses on healthier dishes. And I had a chicken shawarma wrap and it was very good. It was large, it was really good, and it was healthy. There's barbecue and pizza, lobster rolls and tacos, cookies and ice cream too. Mother Road Market is definitely a must-stop spot. I'm very glad to see them really building up and promoting Route 66. I think it's great. Since Mother Road opened, we've had an opportunity to have a physical space and sell you know, hats and shirts and jackets, stickers and postcards that we've designed that are all, you know, Tulsa and Oklahoma themed. Herschel Self is with Mythic Press. They never really had a storefront until now. Working in and with the people at Mother Road Market has been incredible. Some of the locations are well established, like Andalini's Pizza. Others, like the Kitchen 66 Takeover Cafe, well, that changes out every day. You just gotta check the calendar. And that's literally a different business every day, trying out a new restaurant concept. There are 20 different food and retail businesses set up in here, many of which are startups, all on a year or more lease. The farm stand is a dream come true. Penny Shelton's space is stocked with everything local, all from area farmers, ranchers, and artisans. Nothing is outside of Oklahoma. That's why our tagline is, tastes like Oklahoma. This is an extension of the Cherry Street Farmer's Market, a Saturday morning tradition for many of us Tulsans. But that's only open seasonally while the farm stand is year-round. Bringing all the best and freshest local goods to Tulsa. I would encourage anyone that's interested in seeing the best that Tulsa has to offer, whether that's in food or retail, to come to Mother Road Market and really see the showcase of talent uh, and ex incredible food and great retail products that are available here. Along Route 66 in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Mother Road Market is located at 1124 South Lewis in Tulsa. They're open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, open till 10 on Friday and Saturday nights, and closed on Mondays. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. All you have to do is just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy.
A huge thank you to the folks here at The Collective for hosting us this week. They're the first food hall in Oklahoma City located on the corner of Northwest 10th and Harvey. It's home to 11 restaurants and a full bar. Check out their website for details on the hours. Coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, the best place to fuel up before a full day of fishing, and it's a step up from camping. You arrive and the tent is all ready to go. We'll show you how it works next week on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.